Almost a year ago now, the Canon 250D, or SL3, depending where you live in the world, was released. Advertised as the smallest entry-level DSLR camera on the market with 4K video, it's no real surprise that this camera stirred up such a lot of interest. But with the wave of impressive mirrorless cameras hitting the market in recent months and times, you could very well be asking yourself, does the Canon 250D have a place worth buying in 2020? And that is the question I'm gonna answer in today's video. If you're new to this channel and you like photography, video, and social media tips, then please hit subscribe and the notification bell to join the growing community here at Ben's Guide. The Canon 250D feels small in the hand, yet incredibly comfortable to hold. This probably is due to the DSLR body shape, which tends to mold in the fingers better than a mirrorless body. It comes with a very respectable 24 megapixel sensor, an optical viewfinder, and Canon's very lovable fully articulated screen. So if you're vlogging as well as taking photos, this really is gonna come in handy. The battery life on the 250D will provide you with over a thousand shots on a full charge, which is really impressive. And I also found it to last a long time when you're shooting video. We're gonna take a look at the photography on the 250D in just a moment. But if you're new to photography, you're a beginner, and you just don't really know where to start, because it's a bit of a minefield at the start, to be honest, then I have created a course which might really help you out. This course shows you how to master camera settings, the very first place you should start when doing photography. Let's take a look at the photography on the Canon 250D. When I first took the 250D out on a bright and sunny day, I did wonder how it would cope with the bright highlights and the dark shadow contrast. I was very pleasantly surprised though that this 24 megapixel sensor and how it handled the harsh conditions. As you can see from this series of photos, there's really no issues at all. I also love that familiar color that you seem to just get when using a Canon camera and shooting in JPEG mode. For me, it wins over any other brand in that respect. Also the autofocus, it was fast and snappy, as you would expect with Canon, ensuring a high ratio of my photos were sharp and in focus. As far as an entry level camera is concerned, Taking photos with the 250D was a real pleasure. It performed so well in both picture quality and autofocus. If you're interested in shooting video and you're on a tight budget, then I can see why the Canon 250D is so appealing. It has a fully articulated screen, which is so useful for shooting video and perhaps it has the best autofocus on the market with the dual pixel autofocus. It also utilizes the eye autofocus, which is really good considering the price point. The video with the 250D though, is a very much a story of two halves. You see, this camera has 4K built in, and upon hearing that, you might be seriously impressed. But unfortunately though, using the 4K on this camera, it's another matter. When I shot video in the 4K mode, I struggled to get focus most of the time. And that's not to mention the huge crop that you experience in this mode as well. Take a look at the difference between the HD and the 4K for yourself here. It's a shame to say it, but this camera does not offer any video creators a viable 4K mode that will be able to be used unless you like blurred footage. There is a silver lining though. You see, the Canon's full HD mode is brilliant. It's reliable, the color's great, and the dual pixel autofocus with eye autofocus works wonderfully well together. You also have 24 frames per second for more cinematic style video, 30 frames per second, and of course, 60 frames per second in full HD mode. That does mean that you can get that lovely, buttery, silky smooth slow motion footage. So, is this camera worth buying in 2020? Well, at this point, I would expect some people to ask, why have I not mentioned the M50 as a better choice, considering it's a mirrorless camera, costs a little less, and gives you a few interesting extras like the electronic viewfinder? Well, it sounds like the Canon 250D may not be the best choice after all, doesn't it? 
but not really. You see, the Canon M50 has a very limited range of lenses that you can use alongside it. And this is compared with the huge range on offer with the 250D. The battery life on the 250D is also significantly better, lasting nearly three times longer. It's a lot more comfortable to hold as well, and it utilizes the eye autofocus and performs a little bit better in low light conditions. So when you stack all them things together, you start to see why this camera is really good for a beginner photographer or a hobbyist. This camera gives you the option to use a wide range of lenses for all different kinds of photography. It's more than capable in the photography department, producing great quality and vibrant pictures with the impressive 24 megapixel sensor. Also, the autofocus is very good and it has brilliant video. For its price point, the 250D is one of the best entry-level cameras in 2020. If you're looking to buy this camera, please consider checking out the link in the description because using this link is really good for supporting the channel and enabling me to make more videos in future. If you've got any questions about the Canon 250D, please drop them in the comments section at the end of the video and of course I'll get back to you. I want to thank you guys for watching the video today and if you're new here, please hit subscribe and hit that notification bell. And whatever you do for the rest of the day, guys, just make sure it's a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.